right quick look at my sump. This is a trigger system sump. And it is their 36 by 14. And as you can see, I have a piece in the middle. When I do my upgrade of my tank, I will make sure I get a stand that doesn't have this middle brace. But for now, it will do. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we'll start with all right. The way the water comes down, uh, tube on the left is one inch, and it comes down. I'm not running any socks right now. And it comes down. Uh, there is the Ocellaris clownfish that was being picked on. And then all the way underneath there is a really fat purple tang who's been feeding on the allergy. Uh, not the allergy, the whatever form of allergy that is, I'm not sure. Um, I'll have to look up the name of it. I don't know off the top of my head. Um, skimmer is in the center chamber. And this is about three days worth of skimming. And Right now it does run 24-7 and on a top off outlet is right there. I am using a seven and a half gallon container for my auto top off. this side uh, I have about what is it a quart of the marine pur uh, I guess media balls in the third chamber there and the other side of the skimmer and another marine your block there. This is the one inch one. And the other part of the auto top off unit. And this is a 300 watt heater. Uh, the bag on top of that is the Seachem uh, Foss Guard and then the return pump and it takes it back up. There's the other part of the auto top off unit. And that's pretty much how the chamber is set up. For right now, everything is working well. I have a reactor uh, for carbon and GFO coming. And eventually, let's see, I will from time to time run. Uh, filter socks. Uh, they're usually the uh, let's see, the dimensions of the sump are 15 inches tall. So the filter socks are usually the 4 inch by I think 14. And the skimmer cup is normally changed on a weekly basis.
Oh, mechanical filter. I do use a sponge that goes across the length of the tank. Um, so all water does pass through that. And I do replace it, usually on a monthly basis or so. Uh, right now, my levels are uh, phosphate is usually right around one to two parts per million. Uh, nitrates, I haven't tested those. I need to test those, uh, but usually they're pretty low. Um, this is still a fish only with live rock tank. So I haven't added any corals to the tank yet. Uh, let's see here, what else? The return pump is actually a controllable one. And sometimes I have it synced up with the pumps in the tank and it gives a surging effect to the water um, but unfortunately that drives my auto top off unit crazy so I need to um, split the optical eye and the backup switch separate those two so that uh, when I do run my return pump it typically will cycle between those two lines and um, still figuring that out uh, as I mentioned this is the 300 watt fluval heater um, it's not set on a timer. It is just set at 77.5. And then the other heater in the tank is set is a 200 watt, and that one is uh, set to 78. Uh, I have a wave maker here. And my two pumps there, and that is my equipment for the 75 gallon rimless tank. Thanks for watching.